In this video, I'm going to be seeing if I can play my cardboard Xbox Series X on a Game Boy Advance. So yes, things are about to get a bit weird. So for my first trick of the day, I'll pull out this little Game Boy Advance uh, TV tuner, which you've probably never heard of. But this is what's going to make all the magic happen today. This is going to facilitate me playing my Xbox Series X on the Game Boy Advance. At least we hope it should work fine. But uh, it's it's a pretty convoluted device. Got a lot of wires to go to it. And uh, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, so essentially, let me just break this down for you. So we got kind of three main components here. We've got our Game Boy Advance, uh, actually a Super Game Boy Advance that I paid way too much money for, but it's pretty cool. I'll show it to you later. We have a Game Boy Advance TV tuner, which plugs into the Game Boy. And honestly, probably the weirdest thing of the bunch is this cardboard Xbox Series X. And yes, it is made of cardboard. It has a real Xbox Series X in it. I actually made a video on it back last year. Uh, honestly did not get enough love. It's a very interesting video, I think. So go watch that after you watch this video. But uh, yeah, it's literally a cardboard Xbox Series X with the real internals inside. So basically, uh, we're going to plug an HDMI I cable in here. The HDMI cable is going to go into the TV tuner, and then the TV tuner is going to transmit that signal onto your Game Boy Advance so that you can see your Xbox Series X TV video. Uh, TV video, what does that even mean? You're going to see the Xbox Series X video on the Game Boy Advance screen, and it's going to look glorious. Now, like I said earlier, things are about to get a bit weird. So let me look at this uh, Game Boy Advance TV tuner. It's got some some interesting text. So uh, if you look at this thing, so this thing uh, slides back and forth, or excuse me, tilts back and forth. You plug your Game Boy Advance into here. But the funny thing is, it's got some weird text here. It says, don't split this product, especially the commutator by yourself. Don't split this product, especially the commutator by yourself. Remember that, guys. Uh, and the next up says, notice the ringent angle of principal part and commut commutator box when you connect and separate advance with TN1610. So basically back in the day, if you didn't have a TV, you could uh, take this TV tuner, get some TV on your Game Boy Advance and boom, there you go. So let me just show you how this thing works. Let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, so you can clearly see it is it is a Game Boy. I have a backlit screen on it, so it's very cool. 7111 device additional or address right R wait key. Okay, oh, oh. Something's happening. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think we're... Oh, there we go. TV. Oh, yeah, baby. That's my favorite channel. Channel 13. There we go. Favorite channel of all time right there. But anyways, let's turn this off and do what we came here for. Let's plug the Xbox Series X into this thing now. Uh, I got to do some weird contraptions with wires just to make this thing, this magical thing, work with everything. What am I doing with my hands? All right, I'm back from my midnight snack. And let's take a look at this Xbox Series X now because I, I meant to show you guys this, but I haven't yet. So it is fully functional, like I said. You got your legit buttons that I kind of carved out. The top looks like absolute crap. The bottom is kind of coming apart, or excuse me, the back is coming apart because of the super glue or the, the hot glue is coming apart, unfortunately. Uh, but it's hopefully still functional. I honestly have not tested this thing out since I made it. So uh, hopefully it still works. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And let me just explain what's going on here. So we have our, our Game Boy Advance plugged into the TV tuner. We have this uh, cable right here, which has your composite. Then we got a female to female composite adapter. This cable goes to an HDMI to AV adapter that you can't see on the screen because it's got the power cord is too short. And you got an HDMI cable from that that'll plug into the Xbox Series X. And of course, I need to plug in my power as well. And then we should be good to go, maybe. Um, also, I got something else in store for you. Ooh, it's moving around in there. Yikes. Uh, hopefully it still works. <laughs> uh, I also got something else in store for you guys later. I'm going to try to wire this controller up to the Game Boy Advance so that the Game Boy Advance controls control this controller so that we're like legit playing an Xbox Series X on the Game Boy Advance without a different controller. Because right now, all that's going to happen is you're going to see the Xbox Series X like play on the, the screen here. But we're gonna try to make it even a little more legit with the controller. So let's go ahead and see if this console will turn on. Now let's go ahead and see if it'll show up here. Let's turn on this thingamajig. I don't know what any of these buttons are doing. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dude, that looks so bad. <laughs> All right, so clearly it's very uh, jittery, if you can kind of tell. The screen is just buffering back and forth. Let me go ahead and connect up my controller. And uh, yeah, so it's got, it does have some lag, but the lag is not, it's not terrible. Let me turn up the sound. Um, ooh, man. It'll be the show 22. Why is it? Oh, I forgot. This is like my old Xbox that I haven't touched in a long time. I was wondering, I was like, I haven't played the show 22 in like a year. Uh, I've been playing some Dishonored recently. So, man, I can't see anything. It's even worse because you guys are looking at this screen. I am looking at a different screen that shows this screen even more difficult. But, uh, I mean, like, let's just, uh, let me pull up a game with some text and see if I can read anything. Actually, we'll go to the settings first. See if I can read any of the settings. Maybe I can adjust the, the display, like, 
what does that say? That's supposed to say general. One of these is like network settings. Another is like display. Another is like sound. But I legit cannot read that at all. Let me, I'm going to zoom in even more. But <laughs> it's, it is so grainy that I can't, I can read absolutely nothing. Uh, this is this is amazing. Now, it's kind of like reading a different language when you uh, accidentally switch your, your console to, I don't know, Chinese or Spanish or Japanese and all you speak is English, all you can read is English. It's kind of like doing that and you kind of got to navigate your way back and uh, fix it. Oh, that's network. That says network. I can read that. Now that says, what is that? TV display options. Okay, maybe. Oh, that's the thing that like shows you if your if your display has all the all the hertz and all the all the resolutions. So let's go ahead and boot up a game. San Diego Studio. I can read that. Oof. Um, this should be a, a contest. Like, like I don't know. Like a Fortnite. You're playing Fortnite on your Xbox Series X. You plug it into your Game Boy, and you see who wins. Cause it's gonna it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna be a lot of splattering. Like people just splattering's not the right word. Scattering. You know you know when you're shooting a gun and it like scatters. Whatever that word is. I'm not a gun shooter. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of that. And it's going to be a, a hard fought battle of Fortnite. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. All I know is this looks insane, but it is working. I'll play a little bit of gameplay maybe and pull it up and see if I can actually hit the ball. All right. If I press A and start enough, it eventually gets to a game. And uh, I can tell I'm the, the Atlanta Braves playing the uh, Houston Astros. But that's all I can tell. I can't read any names, can't read the bases. We're going to see if I can hit the ball because that'll be a huge feat if I can do that. But surprisingly, there's actually not too much lag. After going through all these all these chords here, lag is not too bad. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see if it works. This is impossible. I'm not even batting right now. I'm just pitching, and I can't even. Like, I can see the pitch bar, but I can't see. If you know about MLB, it like goes this way and then swings back. I can't see when it swings back, and I can't time it. Just impossible. I can't even see where I'm placing the ball. So I'm about to throw my fourth ball for a walk here. Oh, strike! <laughs> I'm a legend. How did I do that? Did I just strike him out? Or maybe it's maybe it's three and two. I can't tell. Somehow I got him to swing and miss there. I don't know how. Crap. Walked him. All right. That's not that's not gonna go well. Um, let's go ahead and quit. <laughs> I don't know. This is just, this is just hilarious. Like this looks so bad, but it's it's like so bad it's funny. You know, it's it's that kind of that kind of bad. Oh, and apparently when you turn this off, it actually still kind of displays. So you don't even need the power on. Oh, it actually almost looks better with it off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are back and I have some things to explain and kind of show you guys what my ideas are. I have absolutely no idea if it's going to work, uh, but if you just look here, I have this little scrappy circuit di diagram I drew. Um, I kind of scribbled over a bunch of stuff, so it doesn't really make sense, but here's my idea. So like I said, I want to control the Xbox Series X completely from the Game Boy Advance. So basically right now, as you saw, I'm controlling the inputs from the Xbox uh, the Xbox controller and then it you know it, it just displays on the screen But what I want to do is actually use the buttons on the Game Boy Advance to control the Xbox Experience so what I'm going to try to do is solder some wires from the Game Boy Advance buttons to the Xbox controller And I've drawn a little diagram here. So uh, I made a little circuit ignore those scratches, but basically that's the GBA button That's an Xbox Series X button. So uh, Essentially what usually happens is you have your circuit here and it's an open circuit, but what you do is you press down your button. Uh, basically, you press down the button, it clicks down this pad, this conductive pad, which completes the circuit. So, like, it'd be right there. You press it down, it completes that circuit. So now the circuit is flowing with current, and it basically tells your Xbox, uh, your Xbox controller, that you pressed a button, and it gives you the input. What I'm going to try to do is kind of trick it so that instead of just this little circuit right here, I have this circuit. It kind of bypasses through the Game Boy Advance. So I'll have a wire soldered from the Game Boy Advance pad to the Xbox Series X pad, same on this side of the pad, and then I will press my button right here, and it'll complete that circuit, and it'll tell the Xbox controller that yes, I did complete the circuit, so yes, you should accept the input. Now, there, there's probably some nuances here that I'm missing. Uh, I am a little bit concerned that uh, some of the current might flow into the Game Boy Advance circuitry so that there might not be enough current coming back to the Xbox to tell it that I actually pressed the button. I'm not sure if it's going to be an issue or not, but we're just going to give it the good old college try and see if it works. So I have these little tiny wires here, which should be fine for these buttons. Don't need much current flow. So we'll essentially peel off a couple of these like so and uh, solder it from one pad to the other. I don't know where my, my wire strippers are, so I'm going to have to use my, do the old fashioned method where you use a, uh, <laughs> a blade right there and try to cut it off. But um, I'll do that off camera in case I uh, accidentally slice my finger. So as you can see here, I've got my wires, if it'll focus, but I got two ends of both wires. So basically two ends will solder onto the Game Boy 
the Game Boy pads right there on that one button and then on the other button. So I'll probably do, I don't know which button to do first, but I'll, I'll try one of the buttons and see if it works. All right, so actually I think I'm gonna do the A button, A or B button because uh, the D-pad on the Xbox has this little white film on top, which I don't really wanna take off. I guess I could, but I'm not gonna take that off. Oh, and actually it's clicky there, huh? Yeah, I don't think I, I don't even know if I can solder to that. All right, we're gonna try one of these buttons up here. So I'm gonna solder from probably the A or B button on here to the A or B button on here and see see what happens. So now the real problem I'm running into is the fact that this, uh, this pad right here, I can't get any solder to stick to it. I put some flux on it. It's just like, I don't know what that pad is made of, but it's made of something weird that I can't get anything to stick to. So what I think I'm gonna do, at least for testing, is I'm gonna solder to the Game Boy Advance and then just tape it to the to the xbox controller because like I, I forgot i can do that it'll, it'll work temporarily just to see if it works so let me try soldering to the game boy advance first and then we'll we'll use some some tape some tape so i have two wires soldered down on the a button on the game boy advance now the other problem i'm going to run into is can i actually still fit uh these pads on top of these wires because they're kind of like they're not very big wires but they're thick enough that they make a difference so this is not really practical in all in like any way so i, I got it taped down now i guess like I, I i am getting less and less confident by the second that this is going to work but i think it's as good as it's going to get for now so let me go ahead and try to partially assemble this thing back together so it'll at least work and uh we'll see <laughs> see if anything happens man this is a this is a bad idea so the xbox series x is back on i think uh, i kind of put this controller back together partially and it is connected so i don't know let's uh I guess we need an output here. So let me try to plug this in so we can actually get some life and see this console. And then we'll see if the button press works. So we're doing a lot of jank stuff here. I got to hold my battery in because I got the back off. Oh, ooh, ooh. there we go. So it is turning on now. All right. Apparently I did not have the cartridge plugged in all the way. So now let's try to hold this battery in place, man. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done. And it's just not working out so well. Oh, now my screen's falling out. <laughs> I've completely destroyed. It's not really destroyed, but I've just like really messing everything up here. All right, I gotta hold this in place. Cool, it is showing our output, kind of. There we go. All right, cool, so you can see it now. Now I have to try to hold this in place and also try to press the Game Boy button at the same time. You know, the right way to do this would be to put the whole thing back. Ah, crap, I know what's gonna happen. I need to find a better way to do this because this is, this, is, uh, this is not working all right. This is not working very well. Actually, oh, wait, that works. Taking the whole front off actually makes it better. So now I can push that together and I can get my, where is my, yeah, there we go. So I can basically hold that there, press that down, and then I can hold the battery in place with one hand. Let's try, let's try this out again. All right, okay, okay. So our controller, our Xbox controller is connected. I can see a light here. You can see that light there. Uh, sorry, it's really crappy, but you can see it. And now I don't know where my, where it is, but I'm gonna try to press this down problem is that it's also controlling the Game Boy Advance so hmm oh it worked dude okay <laughs> it worked it was like the most janky thing I've ever done but like let me just show you guys so I do have these oh crap I'm gonna break it again I do have these two wires going from the A button there to the A button here you can kind of see it they got some electrical tape on them and then when I pressed this button here it selected the game all right, guys. Well, it's uh, it's it's kind of working. Like you can see there that I somehow pulled up a keyboard, started searching. I don't know what I'm doing because I can't see the screen half the time. I'm trying to hold the battery in place, trying to keep these wires connected to the Xbox controller. It's a mess, but it theoretically it's working. I think this would be a whole lot easier if I was connecting like a Game Boy to a different controller that's much easier to work on. Like my thumb is shaking because I've been holding it in place so long. I'm just gonna take it off. But like. I don't know. I'm kind of happy, but yeah, it worked guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I know this is a mess of a, of a video, but it's, uh, I don't know. I had fun with it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.